Sunday. I was going to open up my uh, blinds there. Lovely, well, dark day, I guess. Yeah, lots of clouds in the sky. I thought, well, the weather forecast said it would be sunny, but unfortunately that has not come true today. So anyways, today we're heading over to a car sale. I saw on social media there was a car sale going on by the Springfield Lake, uh, kind of a dirt car park, and uh, basically we're heading over there now because my old car got totaled and I need it for work or I need one quickly for work tomorrow, so I'm just buying a cheap car for the moment until I can buy um, a good car essentially. So let's just go ahead and uh, get my jacket on. It's gonna be cold outside, so there you go. That's on perfect let's head over there let's head over there the bus should be arriving soon hopefully hopefully let's just go and lock the door there please tell me i haven't missed the bus it's not there should be there uh maybe it's running late i'm guessing it's just running late oh there's the bus all right i'm just gonna go and jog over quickly here let's go and jog over quickly i just don't want to miss the bus Hi. Right, yep i'm sorry i'm getting on i'm getting on i'm getting on right there we go squeeze through hi sorry thank you i just made it just made it we're just going to tap my card there 150 Perfect, thank you. Uh, you're heading to the Springfield Lake, right? Uh, I'm just heading over there for the car sale today. Yep, thank you, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Hop on the bus and just made it in time. Just in time there. Perfect, right. Let's head over to the lake. And um, yeah, I'm looking for a car. I work in construction, so I'm going to need to like lug around a lot of equipment. So ideally, maybe a pickup truck or a sedan. Something with a large trunk on it. Uh, or an open flatbed, something like that. Basically, I just need all my tools to fit in the back of my car. If there's none, uh, if there's no trucks on sale, I guess I'll just get um, a car with a big enough back seat area. Then I can just put my equipment there, but it's, it's not ideal. Seems like a, a decently busy morning here, um, but the weather's not nice. I guess everyone's turned to their cars to stay dry. So I feel like if it rains, they're all just going to pack up their cars and go home, so... Uh, I think the bus is going to stop in this uh, suburb area here, and then I'm going to have to do a quick walk over there, but uh, the event goes on until late afternoon, so I shouldn't miss it anyways. That's fine, and it gets me a bit of exercise in, and I think I saw one or two cars there across the river. Thank you, thank you. I think there's a temporary stop for the event. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, have a good day. Have a good day. Wow, walking through literal wilderness here. Right, and uh, off goes the bus. Right, let's uh, just follow the road actually over here. Actually, it looks like a good turnout. There's a lot of cars in there. Still more arriving. I think that's a Prius who's just arrived. And uh, DOT, are they here to tow the vehicles or are they here to... I'm guessing they're here to bring vehicles to the event. So, actually, it looks like a really good turnout. I'd say... Right, Dodge Charger over there. I wish... I honestly wish I could get that car, but unfortunately, that's that's not the car that my job requires. And there is... That's only two seats, right? There's no way I'm going to be able to fit all of my equipment in there. Right. Oh, my goodness me. There's a lot of cars here. Let's have a look, first of all, this uh, Tahoe. Tahoe's, I know they have a big trunk area, so uh, the only problem is that's way out of my price range. No way I can justify spending 15k on a car, which I'm going to get a new one. Or maybe I just have this as my car. It's an old car, though, kind of battered and everything. I don't really hmm. it looks it looks good but i i don't think i can afford to spend that much on a car well uh is that a prius i think maybe no no not really good either so there's a couple of pickup trucks and sedans over here this velfire actually they've got roof racks on here i can store some equipment in there a decent let's have a look decent trunk space kind of looks like a good car to be fair hey do you own this vehicle here do you own this vehicle here? I'm uh, interested in just finding out the price for this, if you're able to tell me. No, all right. Uh, thank you, thank you. All right, we'll come back to this. Nice car, maybe. Nice car, actually. Uh, possibly, possibly. Anyways, uh, what have we got over here? So we got um, a similar guy. I'm not too great with car names. Uh, this uh, Chevy? No, no, it can't be. Can't be. It looks like it has more trunk space. Let's go and have a walk down behind here. Don't want to scrape any other cars. This actually looks like it has a pretty decent trunk space. Could do, could do. I think I've got two cars. These two cars definitely could do. Um, what about this truck over here? Jesus looks battered. Um, well, it's only temporary, so uh, hold on. Who's the person who owns this? Hey, do you own this 2007 Toyota for sale? $850. That's kind of perfect, actually. Hold on, sorry. Do you mind if I just have a look around? Just kind of, kind of interested in buying a vehicle for work. Thank you, thank you. This is honestly the perfect size. I could fit a ton of space in the trunk there. I'm not sure if it comes with a bed cover, but if it does, that would be an extra bonus. Does it come with a bed cover, actually? Because uh, if so, then that would be... That's probably perfect. Except for the fact that it does look... Is that rust? 
No, I think that's dirt. Yeah, it must be dirt, right? Cover got damaged a few months ago. Ah, uh, no worries, no worries. I'm probably use some tarpaulin and uh, cover the bed via that. Actually, this is kind of perfect. So, you sorry, you said $850, right? I think $850, a few dens. A few dens, but $850, and that's kind of a perfect price, actually. Don't really want to spend too much on a car that I'm ditch in a couple of weeks. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, do you pay with card? Tires are nearly new. Also, it looks like they've replaced the tires recently. Perfect, yeah, yeah. So, do you pay via card? I've got a card on me. Cash only. Right. Um, okay, I think I've got cash. Uh, is all the registration for the car in inside of the uh, glove box, right? Just in, in case I get pulled over or for whatever reason the uh, officers need to see it. Okay, thank you, thank you. If that is, I think, I think I'm going to go for it. It's a perfect car. Store all of my equipment in the back and... It's, it's worn anyway, so if I get it dented or anything, then it's not the biggest deal in the world. And $850 for a car, I'd say that's a bargain. I'd say that's a bargain here. Alright, thank you very much. Thank you. Is that, uh, is that all, right? I haven't really done this whole second-hand uh, car sale before. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm going to take the keys. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day there. Right. Bit tight here, but perfect. New vehicle. Right. Okay, first thing I see, bit low on gas. Not the biggest problem in the world, but we just need to stop and get gas before tomorrow. Monday, uh, work. Perfect. Alright, let's go and, uh, fire this up here. Yeah, I already bought the car. Alright, uh, let's go and move this out of here. Bit stiff with the steering. Uh, I think that's what they meant by a couple of dents. I feel like the power steering's got, uh, damaged slightly, but, ah, it's fine. It's fine. It gets me from A to B, and it's cheap. Oh, gosh. Bit of arguments over there with uh, payment. First, we're going to head to the gas station here. Um, yeah, let's head to the gas station. Then we'll head home. Gosh, this thing's uh, slower than I accepted. Let's go get gas first of all. Then I'm going to have a look at this overnight. Just see if there's any problems with the vehicle before heading to work. Right, let's go and pull in here. Gas and go. Fuel this up because this thing is... Wow, we're probably on the last couple of miles here. That's not going to get me to work tomorrow. I'm at a slightly awkward angle here. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that was an awkward angle coming out of here and missed the turn completely. Right, okay. Uh, let's head back home and have a look at this car. Get loaded up for my first day of work, or well, at least my first day of work after the weekend. We'll just pull it into the garage, actually. Uh, probably best to keep it dry from what I believe is going to be a rainy day today. Uh, right, so hold up a second. Let's just go and open this up. Perfect, perfect. And go and drive in. Nice, cozy inside. Will this fit? Hold on. Yeah, it will fit, right. Just a bit, bit tight here. Okay, perfect. Let's go and close this up. And perfect. Let's have a look at this. So, it's filled up now. Um, gas. So is that closed? That's not closed properly. Right, let's go and close that fully. A uh, lot of dirt, grime, and a couple of dents over the side, but it does the job. It will drive me to work tomorrow with my equipment. So, let's actually just go and load up the uh, equipment here. All right. There we go. Vehicle is all suited up, I guess. Um, the dirt's fine. You know, I'm going... The dirt's fine. Uh, like, it's going to get dirty anyways, but the main problem's the dents. Like, there's some pretty some pretty solid dents in the side of the uh, doors here. Like, it, it, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't look beautiful, but it isn't meant to. Right, it's, it's meant to get me from point A to point B. Um, and let's just also just make sure this fires up in the morning. I don't want to wake up and this not fire. No, that's fine. Let's go ahead and actually watch a nice afternoon movie. Okay, morning, morning, morning. Let's have a look here. Go to the vehicle. And is it a nicer day than yesterday? Well, there are clouds. Uh, right, well, we kind of expect it, honestly, in this uh, autumn slash winter changeover. Right, hop into the vehicle. All the equipment's nicely loaded up. What's the time now? 7.50. Perfect. We've got 45 minutes, or 40, sorry, 40 minutes to get to work. Reverse out of here nicely. I really should link up like an automatic um, kind of uh, key fob almost, so I can close my uh, garage door without having to run back to my car and everything, but uh, it's fine. Traffic seems to be same sort of thing. Oh my goodness me, all right. I knew they were pulling up. I thought they wouldn't do that. Okay, right. I'm quite enjoying work at the moment. So basically, I work at a building contracting business. We get contracted out to build and design, or design and build, sorry, different houses. We've done warehouses. I think they're the, probably the best paying, uh, mainly just due to their size. Uh, they're honestly not the most fun to design, but it, it gets in the money. Hold on. Are they pulling me over? Am I being pulled? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go and pull over to the side. Am I being pulled over? 
Uh, what? Well, I wasn't. No, 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 I can't have been speeding. There's no way I could speed on this. No, no. Right, what's going on here? What's going on? Uh, is that an undercover? That's an undercover unit. Why am I being pulled over? No, hold on, hold on. The license, hold on, hold on. License and registrations in the front glove compartment here, right? And there, yeah, that's all there. So license and registration. Uh, I've got my driving license on me. Uh, is it because I've got tools in the back? No, there's no law that, no. As far as I'm aware, there's no law that prevents you. Hold on, what's going on here? There's no law that prevents you from having tools in the back of your cab. What is going on here? Why are there more units arrived? What have I done? Why are there so many law enforcement? Hold up, what have I done? What have I, okay, I've got to, look. I bought this vehicle a day ago. The registration's here. It's in order, there's no lights broken. I, ch I checked. Why is there so many law enforcement with guns drawn? Oh my goodness me. Why, what is going on here? What am I meant to do here? What am I meant to do? Am I getting out of my car or? I, I, I don't understand. I'm getting out of my car, right? All right, I've rolled down the window. There you go, I've rolled down the window as you've asked. Um, I've got the I've got the license and registration in here and everything. I can give that to them, but I don't think that's what they want here. Okay, with your right hand, open the door from the outside. Oh, through the window, right? Okay, the door's open. And then I'll get out and put my hands in there. Okay, hands up. Uh, right. Step back. Okay. Uh, do I walk towards the officers? I think, yeah, yeah, walk towards the officers backwards. Nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Uh, okay. Alright, there we go. My goodness me, why- why is there so many law enforcement? They've- Uh, that's a lot of guns here. Right, and I'm being arrested now. Uh, so- sorry, officers, may I ask, why am I- why am I being arrested here? What- what is the reason for this arrest? What- what is going on here? They're searching the vehicle with their guns? Officer, sorry, what- what is this? I- I'm just trying to go to work. I, I'm simply trying to drive to work. The- the tools in the back, they're not for any bad use, it's for my job. Your vehicle's a bolo. Also, what's a what's a bolo? Be on the lookout. Right. Your vehicle's stolen. I bought the vehicle from a sale yesterday. Was it stolen before that? We were told to pull you over. Your vehicle's been reported stolen. No, wait. No, I bought the vehicle from them. It's stolen a few weeks. What? Hold on. Um, no. No, 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 no. Look, officers. Uh, no, I'm sure you've got a mistake here. I'm sure you've got a mistake. No, the, the tools in the trunk. Yeah, sorry, the tools in the trunk, they're for my job. The, yeah, the chainsaws, hammers, yeah, they're all for my job. I, I'm telling the truth. I'm, I, look, I'm driving to work. I'm driving to work for my job. Can you vouch for your work? There you go, the sale yesterday. Sure, there was, there was 20, 30 people at the sale yesterday. There was three guys workers. The sale was just over by the lake as well. I, I'm sure many people could vouch for me. I don't know the names of them, but I'm sure many people can. I must have bought the vehicle that was stolen. Apparently the registration is fake. I apologize. Look, I bought the vehicle yesterday for eight fifty dollars off this guy who's quite nice at the sale, and it was it's just a vehicle to get to work. I promise you, I don't know anything about the stolen vehicle. Look on the Liberty Construction website. Uh, they have all the employees listed there, and you can get their numbers from there. I don't know their number um, on yeah, I don't know their number personally, but if you have a look on the Liberty County Construction website, they'll have all the numbers listed there where you can call my uh, my boss. I'm um, being detained, I'm guessing being put in the one of the back of these cars here until they can figure out if my alibi is real or not. Apparently witnesses have confirmed. I'm guessing they called up some people at the event and is that... I think that's it, I'm free. Thank you officers, thank you. I guess I'm free to go now. Okay, thank you very much officer. Great. Right, so, uh, well that's going to be an interesting story to explain to my boss later on today, but... Well, I'm free to go now, so let's head out here. I think I'm just going to order an Uber home because, well, my car's somewhere on the highway, so... Great, and I'm, I'm guessing they got the person who sold it to me because obviously they had a stolen car of some sort, so I guess they're the one to blame.